Alrighty, let's play this in full. Somewhat longer-ish. So there's some music that I synced it to, but I've removed that for now. That's totally fine. Kind of works as a mechanic shot. There you go. Oh, it's almost like a, a loop. Look at that. All right. So the main impression is that the upper body feels very stiff. This I like. I like this the kind of the hold and drop. Question is, do you need that camera rotation through there? I mean, it gives it a bit of a, an interest. I can see that. So the main thing that I'm seeing here is that there's a, a little bit of wonkiness in the mechanics where you have moments where during the push off, we suddenly have an overextension where that IK controller feels like it's here. And then you have a broken wrist here. This feels like that foot is up too soon it will be a bit lower and then at the end gets up here but then once we get there you have an overextension here where i feel like we would be sooner over that leg into a bend with the root uh arms feel a bit ik just because they're very straight in their path there's no arc and there's a very sharp direction change there same thing here that goes back back and then bam doesn't have it doesn't have He's in and out and a bit of an arc there. Again, a lot of overstretched legs. Through all of that, I also feel like as this arm goes up, I don't see anything in the chest where there's a rotation in Y to go. I mean, it's right there. I say this and it's right there. But then as you continue, like through all of this, I feel like this needs to be slightly pushed. I mean, it's there, I guess. Maybe I'm just not seeing it enough. Like the hip could also be rotated more this way. But then as you continue, I'm just looking at with all that arm movement, I'm just not feeling like there's enough influence. Even as you go back with that arm, again, that chest would have to go back with it. But it continues with some sliding over extensions, some broken wrists where that push off. It's good that there's a full extension on the push, but then it starts to break again. The silhouette's a bit wonky there. Same here with the arm bends. Like that just all feels just slightly broken. Like there's an overall feeling of brokenness. Even when you jump into it uh, with that twist there, it feels like just the upper body just kind of stays put. Yes, there's a rotation Y, but it's all always so straight. Where I feel like I would push this where character might start there. But then as this happens, it might push forward for more of a, a bigger run energy leaning forward so then you can go back up here for the jump and then on that it will go backwards a bit again the camera move makes it hard to see the line of action going back it's a bit of a, a, a drag and then ba -ba, going into this this also feels i haven't looked at this yet this feels really broken going in here but then arms are up into that stretch i mean, might argue it's kind of a robotic thing so maybe you can do different things but again this feels like the ik's back there overextending with a broken wrist So to me, it feels like you want to really focus on the mechanics. And there's also something about jump, roll, continuing, turn, and then having that here. So I know there's a double keep playing it, but in the actual cut, let's play this here. All right, it starts here, jump, roll, continuing jump turn and then we have that roll jump turn so that's why it's there twice so i would say to me this seems more interesting staying put and i will i'm not sure if, if you need that second part it's basically not super convinced that you need that camera move so i'm glad that you included the second one here this is to me just nice because of a nice silhouette and you can work a bit more on that it's a bit more of a drag at the end, extending that leg, it's just kind of pushing that so it's not just stuck in that pose. Especially through there, it would be leaning back and then getting into this. But I would tuck in those hands or the arms. Not sure. Like from this angle, it's kind of an interesting view for kind of an exoskeleton way of rotating around there. But then again, it feels really broken through there. 
The question is though, do you need this turn? It's basically, you have a jump and land, and this is a jump and land. The only difference is the turn, but then it just feels a bit broken. So my question to you is like, there's a lot of little, little technical things that feel broken with, with uh, overextended arms and legs. Silhouette could be worked on every now and then, pushing the line of action. But then the question is, how far do you want to push this? Like, why do you want to include a second thing? Are you okay cutting that out? Could it be something a bit more dynamic or different? And that's why you have that. Could the second thing be lower? Could it be higher to change something? I don't know, it's something that's a bit more contrasty as opposed to just that twisty thing. Because it's kind of the same. This is already fairly mechanics driven to do run, jump, land, roll into that. Like that, to me, is enough to show mechanics. So I'm going to stop it here. You let me know how far you want to push this. Like, Do you want to make this really robotic with potentially breaking things on purpose where arms can swivel around just because it's a robot type of thing that can do that? Do you want to make this a bit more realizing like this is what a human would do, but you just happen to use this rig? Um, how far do you want to push this in terms of style? Is this for a reel? Is this an exercise? A lot of things to kind of think about as you do this. Alrighty. But again, this I really like. The timing of, let's pretend it's less broken in terms of just the mechanics. And you just look at the general shape going forward, up, and then landing. That feels nice. Like I like the timing. It's good stuff in there. It's just kind of pushing the poses and making a bit less broken, overextended, and stuff like that. So let me know uh, regarding all those questions, and that is that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.